China, I think, short term is going through a, or will be going fourth quarter this year and next year through a very difficult period of time. In September, October, basically demand has fallen off the cliff. The stock exchange in Shanghai is down by 72%. House prices are down by 55%. There are thousands, literally thousands of factory closures because of canceled export orders or delayed export orders in China. So that economy currently is not growing at the 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 percent we've seen in the past. I'm not quite sure what it will be growing in the, in the fourth quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was closer to 5 or 6 percent. So short term, there clearly is a very cold wind blowing from which the rest of Asia is not going to escape. It also answers the question, is there a decoupling of Asia and the rest of the world? I'm absolutely convinced there is not. What does it look, look like in the long term? In the long term, I think the Chinese government seems to be doing the right thing. I'm saying seems because it is not always as transparent as it may be in some of the Western countries but the reduction of interest rates goes in the right direction. The fact there is a land reform being initiated in China goes in the land right direction. The fact that the Chinese government is prepared to invest significant amounts of money in the development of infrastructure, roads, railway systems, and is prepared to stimulate demand because it is really only domestic demand which can replace the slack in exports. How long it will take for these measures to take hold, I don't know. I just have some, some question marks. Uh, first of all, the from where I sit, I look at, the, at, at China, China and Chinese mentality, as I understand it, which has a high propensity to save a high propensity for safety and security, which is something you've also said. At the same time, we want the Chinese consumer to start spending when he has an uncertain economic environment, no social security, no pension system, and no meaningful health care system. I just wonder how you're going to get that consumer to rapidly spend a lot of money.